So if you ever want to approach a girl in the club, just go to the beer and say to her, bruh, I have the golden ratio in my pants. This is how I found my wife. Not gonna lie, okay? Really make you think. <laughs> Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to Papa Flemmy's Advent Calendar. Today we are dealing with whoa. Whoa. It's a double sum where one of the parts is an infinite series. And you see, we are letting k go to something, and then our second summation, which is not a series, it's a simple summation, is going to range up until k. So this sum is indeed dependent on this infinite series. This is quite wild. Also, we have phi here. This is the golden ratio. Our boy and I put it in here just because. Just because the bitches love the golden ratio. So if you ever want to approach a girl in the club, just go to the beer and say to her, bruh, I have the golden ratio in my pants. This is how I found my wife. Not gonna lie, okay? Really make you think. <laughs> we are going to dive right in. We are going to do some chucking around, doing index action and so on. And at first I would like to simplify this a little bit, rewrite that, because we have our sum of all the reciprocals of positive integers, okay? Which are nothing but the harmonic numbers of the kth degree. This is something we have used before when dealing with the oily macaroni concept, but no, this time it's not going to end up with oily macaroni, okay? This is not something that we have right here this time. Now I'm going to rewrite our infinity boy, okay? It's simply an infinity boy, not an infinity grill. I'm terribly sorry, grills out there. Also, don't forget to check out Papa Flemmy's shop, 10 to 15% of everything over the whole course of the December. So, k being greater or equal to 1, off, and now we have the harmonic numbers over phi to the kth power. Now, before doing index action, I would like to drag the first term to the outside. What is going to be? This is going to be h1. This is 1 over 1, simply. Okay, and this is 1. 1 times 1 over phi to the first power, which is going to result in 1 over the golden ratio. Okay, and then also plus the infinity boy, this time starting from 2. hk over phi to the kth power. Now, here's the index action going to start. If we take a look at our hk, what is going to happen if we were to drag the kth term to the outside? Then we would have a sum running from 1 to k minus 1 plus 1 over k. This is simply the harmonic numbers of the k minus 1th degree plus 1 over k, the very last term. This right here is the functional equation of the harmonic numbers, okay? This is a really important thing, okay? And it has similarities to the functional e equation on our digamma function, for example. So hk minus 1 plus 1 over k. Now, we are going to put this definition into here, and we are going to assume that everything is going to converge, okay? Meaning if everything converges uniformly and absolutely about the convergence, we are going to uh, say a few words at the end of the video, then we can actually break the summation up and rearrange terms. Meaning, if we were to plug this new definition in, we would end up with two infinite series. So we have 1 over 5 plus, okay, the 1 over k term, I'm going to put it to the front, is going to be thus, the infinity boy, starting from 2 to infinity, and then we are going to have 1 over k times 1 over phi to the kth power, I'm going to put it like this, over k, this is simply the first term, plus the infinity boy, greater or equal to 2, of h k minus 1 over phi to the kth power. Okay, this is already quite good. And do you know what? We are going to bring stuff together yet again, just a little bit. If you were to have the first member right here, the first member would be 1 over phi to the k to the first power is 1 over phi over 1 is just 1 over phi. Meaning overall, if we were to bring this 1 over phi into here, add it to this infinite series, we would just end up with this one. Okay? This is a really famous series I have used on this channel extensively before. If we take a look at the Taylor series expansion of the natural log of 1 minus x, you would exactly end up with negative the infinite series starting from 1 of x to the kth power over k. Meaning if we were to multiply both sides by negative 1, it's not equal to 0. It's the pre pre predecessor, okay? Pre predecessor of the number 1. <laughs> it's not equal to 0 by definition. Then 
we actually have that this summation that we have right here just with the one over phi in there instead of the x is going to make up the negative natural log of one minus x. Okay, and this is something that works out because one over phi is strictly less than one, meaning it's actually in the radius of convergence. That's a really important thing right here, okay? Convergence, it's an important thing that we have to talk about at the end, meaning we are going to end up with natural log, so negative natural log of one minus one over phi plus the summation of h k minus one over phi to the kth power. Okay, now this thing looks pretty similar to our original one that we had right here. But the index is a bit weird, okay? Our index at the moment is starting at two. So let's do some more index action. Let, for example, okay, we want to get back to one, meaning how can we go back to one if we just let k minus one be equal to some new variable n, okay? Then we would end up with one. So we are going to have negative natural log of one minus one over phi plus our summation boy, okay, k being greater or equal to one, I renamed n to be k, yet again, it really doesn't quite matter. They, they both look the same, okay, it really doesn't quite matter what to put in here. Then we are going to end up with h k over phi to the k plus one power if we add one on both sides. Phi to the k plus one power is phi to the k power times one over phi in this case. Meaning this thing right here, this last part is actually simply one over phi times our he, our original series. Meaning we have found an expression which is with respect to itself yet again. Meaning overall, if we were to add one over, uh, if we were to subtract one over phi times he on both sides, we are going to end up with he times one minus one over phi being equal to negative natural log of one minus one over phi. Now we can divide both sides by this thing is not equal to zero because one over phi is by definition not equal to zero. Okay, we are going to be left with our here and being equal to negative the natural log of one minus one over phi over one minus one over phi. And then we are done. When it comes to the convergence, you may notice that if we were to have an x to the kth power here instead of a one over phi to the kth power, this would look like the following negative ln of one minus x over one minus x. We have one over one minus x, meaning our here, if it's in the radius of convergence, is actually defined by a geometric series. Meaning this whole thing works out for our x or the absolute value of x being strictly less than one, not equal to one, then shit would diverge, I suppose. Yes, it would diverge. I'm pretty certain about that. This is something you can do, okay? You can, for example, plug one over pi into there and it would also work out. Can we do some more simplifications? For example, uh, yeah, let, let's rewrite this a little bit. If you guys remember, phi squared minus phi minus one is by definition zero, okay? It's phi is one of the solutions to the second degree polynomial, meaning we can divide both sides by phi, meaning phi minus one minus one over phi is thus zero. Now we can subtract phi on both sides. And we can add two on both sides to end up with one minus one over phi. This thing is by definition then four over two plus negative one, negative five over two, meaning overall this is three minus square root of five over two. And if we were to plug this into here, we are going to end up with negative the natural log of three minus square root of five over two over three minus square root of five over two, take the reciprocal, bring the two in here and you can drag the two and the squared into here. Okay, uh, the, the squared into here, the two into here and also the negative one, take the reciprocal to end up with the natural log of four over three minus the square root of five squared over three minus the square root of five. And those should be equivalent. I thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe my comment channel. If you like, don't forget to check out Papa Flammy's shop to get yourself some cool merch. And I'm until the next video. Have a flammable day. Ciao.
time will take care of that for you. And as always,